Hello, welcome viewers to Elimu TV, where we are going to learn and um, experience together. We are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 13, whereby our topic will be cell physiology, and a subtopic, physiological processes, and as you are aware that there are, diff uh, there are many physiological processes, which include um, diffusion, osmosis, and also active transport. Your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. Let us enjoy the lesson. Uh, we are going to have a um, lesson goal or our objective, whereby uh, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define and I illustrate uh, different physiological processes as we are going to see uh, in our topic. Our first physiological process, which we are going to look at, will be diffusion. And um, at a diffusion, as you are aware that particles in a gas or a liquid are constantly moving freely, bumping into each other um, and bouncing off randomly. As this occurs, the molecules move from a region where they are highly at a, where they are at a high concentration to a region where they are at a lower concentration. This results in the particles being evenly spread out in the space available. Uh, for example, when a perfume bottle is opened in a room, after some time, the scent is detected everywhere in the room. This is because the perfume molecules move from the bottle where they are highly concentrated into the air within the room. The movement continues until the perfume molecules are evenly distributed in the, uh, in the air. The process by which the perfume molecules or the particles move is known as diffusion. Therefore, diffusion can be defined as a process by which Molecules move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Um, we are going to have uh, to demonstrate diffusion using potassium manganate seven, whereby for us to demonstrate the um, the same, we have some several requirements. One, we have potassium manganate seven uh, crystals. We have a uh, glass tubing. We also have beaker and some water. I'm going to outline the procedure which we are going to um, follow for us to uh, carry out the above practical. First procedure one, you order glass tubing vertically in a beaker so that one end of the tubing rests flat on the beaker. Two, you carefully drop a crystal of potassium manganate 7 through the upper opening of the glass tubing. Three. You close the upper end of the glass tubing with damp. Four, you have filled the beaker with water. Five, you carefully withdraw vertically the glass tubing so that the crystal is left undisturbed. Now we are going to look at um, the. Uh, we are going to carry out the above practical as we have named. Let us on our next slide. Let us uh, be keen as we are observing. Uh, from our demonstration, uh, you noted that after some time, the potassium permanganate, which is a uh, purple in color, spread throughout the uh, water and eventually all the water turns purple. 
The explanation for this observation is that in the crystals, the particles of potassium manganate 7 are, um, are very concentrated. The potassium manganate 7 particles break away from the crystals, dissolve in water, and then diffuse through the water and they, they are evenly distributed. The difference in concentration of molecules between the regions of low concentration and the, regi the regions of high concentration is known as the con concentration gradient. Uh, so division is a passive process and will only take a place whenever there is a concentration gradient. Um, having done and said so, we are going to look at the factors affecting division, whereby our first factor will be division gradient, thickness of tissues, size of molecules, temperature, type of medium, and uh, service area to volume ratio. Uh, to explain um, uh, very briefly on the division gradient, that is, division gradient is difference, difference in concentration, whereby the particles will move from the region of high concentration to region of low concentration. Our second point on thickness of the tissues, that is, uh, the thicker of the membrane or tissue, the lower the rate of diffusion. Our third uh, point about the size of the molecules is that small and light molecules, they diffuse faster than uh, large and heavy molecules. Our fourth point on temperature is that an increase in temperature increases the rate of diffusion and vice versa, whereby a decrease in temperature decreases the rate of uh, uh, diffusion. Our fifth one, which is type of medium, um, diffusion takes place in gases and in liquids and not in solids. Division is faster in gases than in solids. Uh, on the surface area to volume ratio, uh, the rate of division in and out of a body depends on surface area to volume ratio. The higher the ratio, the greater the rate of division, and the lower the ratio, the lower the rate of division. Um, on having uh, done that, we are going to have an activity whereby you have to highlight the factors affecting division and you explain them. Um, for further reference on our um, topic or subtopic, we are going to refer to KLB Secondary Biology Student Book 1, 4th edition, Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau. For more, uh, uh, for this and more, you can contact us through uh, and send us an SMS on the number you can see from the screen, or you send us an um, SMS on our Facebook page at Elimu TV, or you send us a message at, at, on, at our Twitter, or you tweet us at TV underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching, and uh, let us interact more on our next lessons. Welcome.